Hey guys, Owl here and welcome to this channel if this is your first time here. On the other hand, some of you will be here because you've seen my other video where I discuss and review the Pro Production non-distortion lenses that you can replace your stock GoPro lens with and just my thoughts and uh, your experience with using the lenses. So if you're here because of that, then great, I'm glad to have you here as well. Please excuse the rough and ready nature of this video as I need to get this video out there as it's been a request to, to show how to swap out the Pro Production and GoPro uh, stock lenses. So I'm just actually just filming on my GoPro, but uh, it'll be cool. We'll, we'll have a good time anyway. For those of you who haven't seen the previous video, I will link to it below. And I'll go through uh, my general experience with these lenses in quite a, quite a lot of depth. So if you're interested in removing the GoPro stock fish eye lens distortion, then you should def definitely have a look at that video, as I think you might find it quite interesting. But for those of you who haven't seen the video, um, I will link to it below. And uh, let me give a quick summary. I really, really like these Pro Production lenses. They great quality and definitely get a different look from your GoPros, uh, the one that I prefer, as I've never been a big uh, fan of fish eye distortion. Also, I discussed there that if you want to get hold of these lenses, there's basically two ways you can do that. The first is to buy from Pro Productions a GoPro with these lenses pre-installed. And the second way is to buy a lens uh, separately and then install the lens into your GoPro that you already own. So that's basically uh, what the point of this video is, where I'm going to be showing you how to do that install. Now the installation process is not particularly complicated, but I did come up across a few issues while I was doing it myself and I had a bit of uh, email back and forth with Pro Production themselves. So I thought let me make a video uh, showing you how to do it, just so that it kind of guides you step by step and help you through the whole process. And it will hopefully get you there quicker than it took me to do my own swapping of the lenses. Just a few notes, I filmed, well, what you're about to see, I actually filmed a couple of months ago and just as a side note, this this what I'm shooting now and what and how I shot the previous video was both of my GoPro with the Pro Production lenses installed. So even this video and, the, and what I'm about to show you can give you an indication of what the Pro Production lenses actually look like and how they work on the GoPros. Unfortunately, um, low light situations which do not suit GoPros very well, so you're not going to get a particularly dramatic look, but you will actually just see how how the, the picture is framed and, and the difference between these lenses and the GoPro stock fisheye lens. Alright, so that's enough of the chit chat. Let's have a look at how you swap out the GoPro uh, fisheye distortion lenses with the non-distortion Pro Production lenses. Let's go. Let me read you the instructions, okay, of what or how do we go about replacing your lens. Firstly, you need to remove your lens cover. Um, plenty of uh, videos on how to do that. In fact, when I went looking for lens replacement, most people will say, yeah, replace your lens. But in fact, they're talking about your lens cover. Um, so then the lens is exposed. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and tightly but gently grasp the edges of the lens and unscrew to the left. Okay, here's where I had a problem. Because when I was unscrewing, there's a, like a plastic ring at the top of the lens of the original lens and it was actually breaking so I like panicked and I thought well I'm not going to carry on trying to move the lens and I emailed him and they said to him look here's a picture I'm breaking this lens and I got a reply back from Pro Production saying so taking your thin ply clamp the lens around the edges and turn the counterclockwise making a little bit of effort so it is quite a bit of effort in uh, unscrewing the, the old lens don't be afraid if the upper edge of the old lens breaks a little okay so like in my picture you can actually don't be afraid of breaking that sort of plastic ring on the top of your lens uh, thirdly carefully clean the new lens and insert it in place of the old one carefully wrap it in about four to five times um, the other suggestion i got from one of the other rep reps was that you wrap your threads of the new lens with teflon tape or plumber's tape so it has friction when focusing now, um, I guess that's because being an action camera, if, you, if you're uh, bouncing around a lot, the, um, I guess maybe the lenses can um, work themselves loose. Uh, I doubt that for light, but what can happen is you lose focus. Um, so I didn't do that, and I haven't really found a problem yet with losing focus, but if you're going to replace your lens, then consider wrapping the thread in the Teflon tape as you screw it in, and just so the, it, it holds its friction. Um, then you need, after that, you need to focus your camera. To do this, turn the camera and point it at a subject. So, preferably 
something outdoors. For example, a tree within a radius of 50 to 100 feet and focus the camera so that the contours are clearly visible. Now, I would recommend and the other guy recommends that you attach your camera to a monitor via the HDMI output. So here's your uh, HDMI cable. The side would go into the lens, uh, into the GoPro. And obviously that side goes into your monitor. Yeah, I, I don't know if I recorded myself focusing that, but basically what you do is, I'm trying to remember, I think I actually used my nose ply, uh, pliers to slowly move the lens to bring it into focus. Because remember these are infinite focus, so uh, once, you foc once you can focus on something like that tree, you should maintain focus for other distances as well. But insulation, yeah, was, I look, I struggled because I'm always nervous and I'm paranoid about messing up my camera. But um, you can actually do it. It's not a big issue. The last point about focusing is I would recommend doing it during the daytime because uh, you need something at a bit of distance and um, also plenty of light. All right, so hopefully that was clear and uh, useful to you. One thing I must just point out is that the the focusing can be very tricky. You, you really need to make fine fine adjustments. And the bigger the monitor, better, so just so you can really see the edge sharpness on, on, on what you're focusing on. So take your time there, and I would advise not skimping on connecting up a monitor to your GoPro. Right, so thank you for hanging out here and, and um, hopefully learning something from uh, from this video. Hit me up in your comment section below if you have any questions about the pro production lenses in general or the installation process itself. And I'll, I'd like to connect if, if you've got if you have a GoPro and you've used these lenses, or if you just have a GoPro and you haven't used these lenses, I'd love to hear your experience and what a difference these lenses have made to your own productions. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Now I know it's common practice to ask people to uh, subscribe and hit the, hit the bell button, but really it'd be pretty awesome if you if you did, especially if you, well only if you actually got benefit from this video. I'm a sort of creative guy and I, I really like um, meeting other creative people and the stuff that I do is partly my own creation and partly just uh, discussing like this video, the tools that I use and how I've used them uh, and hopefully help other people who uh, might be struggling with issues on the tools that I use. So one of the tools I use is, is these GoPros. I have a Hero, I have two Hero 6s. Uh, bearing in mind that these lenses can work on Hero 5, 5, 6 and 7. Um, there, are, there are lenses for previous models, but the installation is different. In fact, if you've got the 5, 6 and 7, the installation is a little bit, uh, a little bit less complicated. So cool. Anyway, thank you for being here. Please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.